What's going on guys? Welcome back to another match day vlog at Daily Man. The pitch is behind me there. Uh, we were just setting up programs in the away end, so we need to make our way here. We have Killian again. Oh, yeah. What a guy, what a man has been in the last two vlogs. Um, last time out we lost 2-0 to Sligo. Unexpected for me. But tonight we play Cork City and it is very expected that we will lose. I know I said that with a lot of passion. I know I said that with a lot of passion. But yeah, we're going to get thrashed tonight. No recognised striker once again. I, as a fan, I'm going to go for a 1-0 win for Bowes. But going, for, going as a like journalist or as, you know, football expert, I like to talk, call myself, I'm going to go for a 4-0 Cork City. Something that didn't happen last week. We got a shot. It was some long range. But it's slightly tested the keeper. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't believe we actually had a shot. We didn't have a chance at all last week. And we got a chance early on here. And the crowd's a good voice. It's good Friday. I was hoping for a buzz. And I said, back on my chair now. We've been a second corner, a second short again. So we're back close. Oh. Stop trying these stupid corners that weren't going anywhere and now we're trying short corners are still not going anywhere but look slightly more threatening than it did last week. We're looking pretty good. I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm not going to say anything, but we're looking good. Cork haven't really threatened at all whatsoever. Not a lot of time gone though, so anything can still happen. Oh, man, I'm protecting the ball that gone out. I wasn't too sure of myself. Charlie McGuire made it on goal. Someone got down well to prevent us. hasn't really been won. The game is still pretty even. We're matching Cork to everything we have at the moment. But I think eventually it will, it will you know, wilter down into us playing quite terribly as it always does. Um, but we're showing a bit more fight than we have in the previous two games. Sly on Pat. So a bit more optimism than there has been. Still nothing really happened. Cork do have a free kick though right now. Looks slightly dangerous. They haven't, they haven't threatened once at all. Three times they've threatened Shane Sumble has been immense. He has not put a foot wrong tonight. Oh well, he's a goalkeeper. A glove wrong tonight. He's been really, really good. I stopped every, every little threat that Cork have had. I look to attack where they took every ball and it goes out for a throw on. We are still playing phenomenal. Best I've seen Bowes play in three weeks. Best I've seen play Supple in a long time as well. Trying to give him a lot of criticism. Really up his game play with three crews that say still really annoyed about that, you know, call by the referee not to give a free kick or a penalty. When we're clean through twice, twice we were clean through. Referee gives another free kick to blow there, man. The two free kicks in a couple of minutes. We didn't give them when, give them when it matters when we're clean through. A goal scoring opportunity. That could cost it here, but hopefully it won't. We're still performing well, looking good. But they haven't had a chance still. It's nil nil with about 25 minutes gone. from former hoop, Carl Shepard goes sailing into the roof of the net. There's nothing Jerry Sutton can do about that environment. Absolutely nothing. Undeserved really. That's Cork's first shot. What a shot it was. It was a brilliant taken volley. I wish I got that on video. Oh, stunning volley to put um, Cork up one and up a day, man. So attacky, so undeserved. Uh, <laughs> really is. It's Quite devastating with that, all the pressure, most of the chances, and Cork going up for a beautiful finish. Second half back underway. 
Um, it was good, good. In fairness, um, one of our better um, halves in a long, long time because it was a terrible to play against Galway. We should have still won the game. Terrible against Pats, terrible against Ligo. And we've actually played well, and unfortunately, we're running down to a wonder goal by Carl Shepherd. But second half could be um, full of promise. I think I'm, I'm, the main thing we're missing, though, as we did in the last couple of games, is a recognised striker. No Dini and no Izzy Akinade. Uh, to really finish off the chances, but I think we could just about um, just about make something here. As I said, I would have been happy with a, a draw coming into the game as Cork Ireland are going for the record nine wins in a row. He really is not a great set piece. He really is taking off of like quite so. He, he, you know, he probably watches this. Now I realise it because you know I only have 560 subscribers. One of the players has to be one of them. Yeah. So if you are watching this, uh, either practice or just stop, stop this set piece thing because you just cannot hit them off the ground. They always hit the first man, and nothing really happens. We should be on me level. There we go, Jamie Hamilton. Close news brought to you by Kian Malloy. Early known goal! A lovely ball in by Kelly Simon. Ball is the core counter even. And McBrody had to come on from going behind. The back into dropping into his own net. Ball goes to Kian Rowdy again. Tries to the pressure. Ian Morris came on. Still has been injured for quite some time. I think he was number 18 for both. Check him out, he's actually a decent player. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Keep him back and mixed up. Probably takes them again. Supple makes a fantastic save. Did she pose in it? Unreal. Premier League like. You would see that in Champions League game on Tuesday and Wednesday. Great save to keep pose in the game. Just about. I don't know how long is left. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go of normal time. Well, we need to buy something quick. I think that should have been a foul, but it's not given. Oh, the break now, Cork. Oh, well held up. Well held up. Well held up. Honest. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Porco 